Hello guys, we're going to install the Minecraft 40 texture pack on Windows 11. Sorry it took me a while. Anyway, straight to the point. Let's get it. So, go ahead and download IO Bit Unlocker in the description. Go ahead and download the skin pack in the description. Step 1, we are going to need to delete the skin pack folder that is generated in both location 2 and location 1. So, copy the location. Yeah. Go ahead and hit the Windows button in R, paste in the location, hit enter. Boom. You're going to see skin packs. Delete it. Okay. Now we need to go to location one. Once you have IOBit Unlocker installed, open this bad boy. Hit add. Go to C drive. Go to program files. Scroll down. And we are going to find Windows apps. If you cannot see Windows apps, open up a Finder window. This is what a Finder window is. You can go to Downloads, whatever. Hit View. Go to Show. Make sure Hidden Items is selected. You will be able to see. If you don't, you will not see Windows apps. So, hit Windows apps. Scroll down to Microsoft. Dot Minecraft UDP or UWP, my bad. Hit data. Go ahead and select skin packs. Hit OK. We are going to unlock and delete. OK, you will know that you did this successfully if you go ahead and open up Minecraft. I'm going to wait for this to load. Okay, open up the skin pack download, hit loading bypass. You'll see import started, successfully imported persona. Once that has happened, that means you have successfully done the deletion step. And also now you have the loading bypass installed in your system. Now, here's what we're going to do. Go ahead and take this download folder. I'm going to put this on the left side. We need to go to location 2. So go ahead and copy that directory. We're going to do command R. Paste in the location. Enter. Here we go. This is location 2. I'm going to go ahead and put it like this. You'll see skin packs is back. Good. You'll see Persona, and then you'll see Persona with a lowercase p. Drag your Persona with a lowercase p into here. It's going to copy. It'll ask you if you want to replace anything, and you will say yes, replace these three files. Great. Now, go ahead and drag the skin pack folder. Uh, from location 2 to your desktop. You can close the downloads folder. Now when you have this, open this, go in, go in, and now delete everything inside of here. Delete all the images, the text folder, delete all that. Everything. You should have an empty, an empty directory for Persona and just these three folders. I'll tell you why. It's because we're on Windows 11 and there's two issues. Skin packs does not generate um, after installing the loading bypass on Windows 11. And what also happens is if I were to move and copy just the persona, it doesn't do everything. And there's a specific way you have to do it. So let's go ahead and reopen IO Bit and Locker. Now drag this skin packs folder with pretty much just the two empty folders inside, hit unlock, and copy. We're going to go ahead to location one, program files, windows apps. Scroll down to Microsoft.Minecraft UWP data. And you'll see that there's no skin pack folder like I mentioned earlier. Okay. With data selected, hit OK. Unlock and copy is successful. Okay. Now, you can just delete that really quick. Go back to location two if you still have it open. 
enter. Now select the text folder and all of the images. Okay, you want every single little thing in here. Easy way of doing this is hitting Control A. Go ahead and let's just to be safe, reopen IO Benton Locker so it's fresh. Drag everything onto IO Benton Locker. This will load every single item and ensure that every single item gets copied over. If you don't do this, it only copies over, I believe, 10 images, and that's it. It doesn't copy anything else over. You have to do it like this. To be honest, this is a little bit quicker and simpler. So please leave a like up and subscribe. Let me know what other content you want to see in the future. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> okay. Now it is going to take a while to load because there is 1,150 plus skins. So just give it a minute. Okay. It is now done. Hit unlock and copy. Go back to location one. See program files. And then Windows apps. Microsoft.minecraft. UWP data skin packs persona persona click the lowercase persona hit OK and now it is going to make sure every single item is loaded right inside when you do this you will have successfully installed the Minecraft 40 skins now it looks like we're successfully moving a bunch. I'm going to go ahead and just scroll to the top. It's not finished yet, but you'll be able to see that everything is moved over. Those are not locked. Those are still doing their thing. It's kind of cool. I can see it happen like right before my eyes. Come on, you can do it. Loading, loading, loading. Look at it go. Okay. And you will now see that every single item has successfully unlocked your copy. Let's go ahead and open up Minecraft just to be safe. Again, I am on Windows 11. If you are on Windows 10, there is a Windows 10 version uh, video to help you. Now, for your very first time installing Minecraft, it may take a while. So, profile, we'll click. Let's go ahead and click this little hanger, which I believe is the skins. And there you go. You will now see from the Blaze animating that we now have successfully working 3D skins. They are not invisible, they are not broken, and all that stuff. So if you did exactly what I did, I have been able to replicate this at least five times now on two different OS versions. It does work with any version of Minecraft. Um, if you have run into any issues, please uh, verify that for this video you are on Windows 11. Um, some people may not have the requirements hardware wise to run this but um please leave a like if this worked let us know and if you're trying to show this off to your friends you just need to go to general and you can tell them uh to do this as well but it says only allow trusted skins turn that off when you turn that off people will be able to see them animate you may have to rejoin the server but relatively, that is it. I'll go ahead and just equip this skin really quick. And then if I go into a Minecraft realm. Okay.
If I go to third person, you can now see this is working. Obviously, my armor. <laughs> and I'm wearing a cape, so it is going to look a bit weird, but this is working. Now, this is just a mob, but there are other skins that you can load. For example, I know if you want to go to the very bottom, you can find some of the cooler ones. Like a Halo uh, Flood. Let's go ahead and equip this. And there we go. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. And yes, my friends will be able to see me. They just have to ensure that that setting is turned off for them. Okay, people. Please leave a like if this worked for you. Um, I'm really happy to see this uh, working on Windows 11. And I hope you all have a good day. Okay. Goodbye.